Okay. Hey, this is Danny again. I'm going to try and um, walk through kind of part two of this HiSat 2 protocol paper um, that we've been um, working on in class. So I'm going to try to share screen again. See if this works. Okay, so just to refresh this HiSat 2 program um, available online for download. And do I have the paper up? Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so it's this paper we'll be working on. So where we left off last time was um, this step here. So um, basically we downloaded HiSat to the program and we aligned RNA secretes to a reference genome using this line of code here. Um, in the procedure, uh, they show, um, well, basically you have to repeat this command for each of the 12 files um, that we downloaded. Um, I haven't done yet this, but I'm going to try to write some Perl scripts that will uh, kind of automate this process so that you can just run one one script basically and have it work through all of these uh, on its own. Um, but what I wanted to do today was work through step two here, converting SAM to BAM. So these SAM files that were converted previously, um, we're going to use SAM tools, which is another package or software program that we're going to download. And it will essentially help us to convert all those SAM files that we were getting here. And we'll convert those into a BAM file format. Um, and then when we're done with that, uh, we're actually going to index them and create a BAI file. So let me back up just a little bit here. In the protocol paper, this is outlined as step two, converting SAM to BAM. But they are using a version, of, an older version of SAM tools. So what I found out, and this is kind of weird, and I know that it should work, but I haven't figured out how to make it work yet. But where I've been keeping all of these files and programs is in this folder on my desktop. So I had downloaded the newest version of SAM Tools right here, SAM Tools 1.7. And then all the files are there, the whole, you know, everything that should be needed to run it. Well, I download the zip, and then in from the terminal, I use the tar command to unpack the files. But at any rate, I could not get SAM tools to run with this version for whatever reason. I have yet to find out. What I ended up doing, though, is I realized that in the protocol, they're using an older version of SAM tools. Um, and while in their procedure here, it looks like they're using a command that you'd use for the newest version of SAM tools. But they also, at the very end of this step, say the above commands work with SAM tools version 1.3 or newer. So I was using 1.7. For older versions of SAM tools, the user should refer to box three. Well, box three gives you all these commands that work for older versions. So how I finally was able to get it to work was I downloaded the version 0 0.1.9 of SAM tools or 0 0.1.19, but it's this version here. 
So I downloaded that and lo and behold, it worked. So I'm going to see if I have the, yeah, I don't have it still on there. Well, at any rate, that's what I did is I just found the uh, online um, uh, downloadable files for SAM tools, and I just searched for older versions, and I found this version and downloaded that, and then I've been able to get these um, commands to work. So this is kind of a mess, but in this HiSat folder that's on my desktop, this is the newest version of SAM tools, which I could not get to run. And then down here, um, this is SAM tools 0.1.19. So I was able to get that to work. So with that said, we'll get back to this protocol. So again, the Am I still sharing? I hope so. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm still sharing. I was just making sure. Okay. So, with that being said, we'll just take a glance at this paper one more time, kind of get ourselves in context. All right. So, the procedure, okay, we worked through this part uh, in part one of the video tutorials. So we're now going to work through, and I will just show you one of these. So the SAM tools program is listed. So we're going to use the, uh, actually we're gonna to go to box three. So it's a little different. So we're going to convert SAM files to binary BAM files. So in this, we're going to call the SAM tools um, command, use the op uh, option view, and then um, these are some additional options here. I need to look at the package to understand exactly what that is again. Um, and then this next piece of the command is the file. So this is the SAM file that we're going to convert into a BAM file. Okay. So I am going to run this code in the Unix terminal. So I will copy that. And open my terminal window. So before I go and run that, I'm just going to see, okay, so I'm in the SAM tools folder. I'm gonna list out, okay, so these are all the files in here. We have the SAM tools executable file. We've got our files that I wanna work on. I've already um, run this, but I just wanna do it again for uh, purposes of this video. So I think we're gonna be doing this first one. So this is like the first um, alignment that is in that list of 12, this ERR188044, it's chromosome X and it's a .sam file. So this is the SAM file that we created with the HiSat2 command in the previous video. So we're going to make sure that this is the file we're working on. So we're going to put this in Okay, we have our file ERR eighteen eight zero forty four eighteen eight zero four four. Okay, so we've got that in. So again, this is the first step in um, uh, kind of creating this. And what it's going to do is it's actually going to create an unsorted BAM file. So we're going to have a couple steps in generating the, the BAM files that we need. So if we hit go, um, it's working. Okay, so we have the... 
kind of in progress uh, blinking of the cursor. And uh, another issue I'm having, and we'll just look at this. I am eating through my memory and I'm working on, uh, well, figuring a way that I can free up more store, more memory for, uh, for running these things. I think I'm just going to get a, like a really big external hard drive or something that I can work off of. Okay, so we've made our file. So I should see an unsorted BAM file for that uh, alignment, and it's there. Now the next step, because we actually want a BAM file, this is unsorted right now, we want it sorted. So the next um, step is this down here, sort the BAM files, okay? So we're going to run this line of code. So we're sorting. So it's very similar to the previous command, but we're going to use sort function in this SAM tools. And we're going to supply it with the unsorted BAM file. And it's going to sort it. So we'll hit go. All right. So it's running. Okay, so that finished running. So this ls that I'm running is just lists out the contents of the directory I'm in. So I see that my bam.bam file is here. I mean, I had already created these, so it's just basically rewriting that file. Um, then the final step, though, is we also need to index the bam file. This is important because what these files are going to be used for is to um, visualize in the integrated genome viewer, IGV. Um, this program here. So it's the integrated genome viewer or genomics viewer. Um, so anyways, to visualize these uh, sequences and reads in this uh, software, you need to have these BAM and BAI files. So the final step for converting to BAI or to, to generate that BAI file in our um, thing is here. Oh yeah, and you can remove the unsorted BAM. So there's one more step and... Okay, I think I might hopefully have it in the still. I don't know. Um...
Okay, there was one last command I had done. Maybe this is it. Okay, Sam Hatter is present. Okay. Sort. Oh, yeah, index. Okay, so this is the... Okay, so this this step, and it's not necessarily outlined in the protocol paper, but that might be because... I think in the newer version of SAM tools, it kind of, it does all of these steps in one command, if I'm understanding the protocol right. Because I mean, if you look at this box three, we're converting the SAM file to a BAM file, and then we're sorting the BAM files from the unsorted BAM files that are created from this. But if you look at this, these lines of code, it's just a single line, sort and convert SAM to BAM, and you just get your BAM file. So anyhow, I think it's just a difference in which version you're working with. But at any rate, I'm going to show you this SAM tools index. So we're going to run that command. So we're SAM tools, okay, we're using SAM tools, we're gonna run the index command, and we're gonna do this, okay. So it should run, okay. So I mean, basically what that's doing is it's creating this bam.bai file okay here so that is needed um it's it's kind of like this under the hood indexing file that's needed for the integrative genomics viewer to operate so i've already got it set up and this is kind of more maybe what we'll show for the next video but what we've done is we've um I mean, I'll show you this, so I don't reload it, but we can go in and load the BAM file for the um, the read that we want. And then we have a um, reference genome alignment that we're looking at. So it allows you, as you can actually kind of zoom in and out on these regions and look at um you know the basically the sequence of dna and the the um amino acid sequences for these things this is going to be i don't know we only just started playing with this today so there's still a lot that i'm figuring out with this uh integrative genomics viewer but it's pretty cool yeah okay all right, well, that's it for that. Sam to Bam. Um, hopefully it made some sense. And uh, all right, that'll be it for now. Thank you.